Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, this is Comfortable Spaces, and we love talking about affordable living and intentional homemaking here on the channel. And today, I have a super fun video about propagating plants, specifically the Wandering Jew plant. I think it is a gorgeous purple and green little plant. It is so stunning. And specifically with this video, I am going to show you how I took a plant that was basically dead and hadn't had any sort of care for about eight or nine months to it and how I brought it back to life. So if you're interested in anything like that, pay attention to the video and let's get into it. So last summer I got this beautiful Wandering Jew plant. I absolutely love them. Like I said, they're just a stunning, gorgeous plant and they just continue to grow and drape over. They're great for hanging plants. They're great to have just in your house as they drape down onto the floor. And I bought it last year and had it out on the front porch. And then in an extremely unexpected Expected cold snap in the fall it actually dropped below freezing overnight and the entire thing essentially died and I was very heartbroken about it because it was a beautiful huge gorgeous plant so my husband being the pack rat ish kind of guy that he is and I mean that with all love in the world he's someone who really thinks that he can fix things that are broken and bring things back to life um, decided to put it upstairs and let it go dormant over winter and in the springtime I brought it out from our third floor where we keep a lot of our plants over winter time and I brought it downstairs and I noticed that the tips of the plant had just the littlest bit of living bits to them. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna bring this plant back to life. So the very first thing that I did was cut off all of the living pieces of this extremely dead and dried plant. Um, I clipped them all off with just simple kitchen scissors, nothing fancy. Then I brought them inside and I put them in a mason jar. I filled them with water and I allowed the bottom of the plant that was sitting in water to start to regrow its roots. A lot of plants, the way you propagate them is once you cut the um, living bit off of it, you can put it in a glass of water and it will start to regrow roots. And I allowed it to sit on my kitchen window for basically the majority of the summer. You don't need to wait that long. I probably could have done it in about two or three weeks, but I had a lot going on this summer, so it just kind of hung out a little bit longer than I meant it to. But it then had a beautiful ton of roots at the bottom that were just thriving and doing wonderfully. So the next thing I did was I went out into our shed and I grabbed one of our older pots. We have a lot of pots in our shed that we recycle through when I have different annuals out on our front porch and whatnot. So I grabbed one of the pots that we had sitting there and I just filled it up with some potting soil and I took the plant with all the roots in it and I just stuck it right in the soil and buried it nice and deep and beautiful. And literally it is that easy to propagate a plant. It's not very difficult. Now I know different plants have different types of propagating. Uh, tips and tricks that are going to work better for different plants but for this plant specifically and a lot of those vine plants like the pothos plants and things like that are going to work really well when you just stick them in water for a little while let their roots regrow and then you can stick them in the dirt and make them nice and lovely and beautiful plants so i'm super excited to have this plant done and looking wonderful and it's going to stay inside this this fall and this winter i'm not going to put it outside because i don't want it to die again but i'm so grateful that i was able to save it and bring it back to life because that is something we love and try to do around here is make sure that we can rejuvenate plants because as much as i'm a plant person and i love to have them around the house i can be a plant killer a lot 
too. So it's really about trial and error if you're somebody who's trying to be a plant person and just taking the time to really focus on them and learn what the different types of plants need. So I'm really glad I was able to bring this back to life and it's gonna look beautiful on our countertop for the rest of the year. So I really hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions about plant propagating, I will do my best to answer them in the comments below. I really hope that you have a wonderful day and we will see you real soon on the channel. Subscribe if you've not subscribed and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of content. And I will see you real soon. Have a wonderful week. Bye.